Unit 5 test. Make sure you put your name and the hour of your class. Matching. Match the term on the right with the definitions on the left. Place the letter of the definition in the blank provided. Each question is worth one point. So make sure over here if you use one to cross it off. The words are secede, segregated, Sterling Place, I'm sorry, Sterling Price, James Lane, William Control, Satanta, Veto, Railroad, and Alienable, and Amend. Use these words for over here. Matching. Number one, the Confederate guerrilla general who raided Lawrence in 1863. And if you need more time in between I'm reading, just pause. Number two, to withdraw or separate from something or something, someone or something. Number three, to separate people by race. Number four, the Confederate general who was defeated in the Battle of Mine Creek. Number five, the Kansas senator who organized the Frontier Guard. Number six, the Kiowa chief who spoke for his people at Medicine Lodge. Number seven, cannot be taken away. Number eight, to reject a bill from becoming law. Number nine, brought an end to frontier life in Kansas. And number 10, to change or add something to a government document. All right, the next section is a chart. You need to place the number of the words or phrases in the correct box in the chart. Each word or phrase is worth one point. So number one, you need to decide, make our laws. Does that go in the legislative branch? Does that go in the executive branch? Or does that go in the judicial branch? And if you notice, she's got parentheses. There's five, there's four in this box, and there's three in this box. So I'm going to read through them and then you can pause and decide which one goes where. Number one, make our laws. Number two, state senators. Number three, governor. Number four, Supreme Court. Number five, enforces our laws. Number six, has a four-year term or a two-term total. Number seven, seven justices. Number eight, two and four-year terms. Number nine, lieutenant governor. Number 10, interprets our laws. Number 11, House of Representatives. And number 12, 165 members, 40 plus 125. The second portion, and make sure you pause if you need more time. The second portion, fill in the blank. Use the word bank provided. Fill in the blanks with a term that best fits each statement. Some terms will not be used. Again, some terms will not be used. Each question is worth one point. So your choices for fill in the blank are amended, veto, U.S. Constitution, seceded, frontier guard, or buffalo soldiers. I'm going to read this sentence. If you need time to fill it in, just pause. Number 11, 
Only the government has the power to blank a bill so that it does not become law. Number 12. The Constitution can be blank or changed as the needs of the state change. Number 13. The Civil War began when southern states decided to blank or withdraw from the Union. The blank was the name given to 100 Kansas men who protected President Lincoln and the White House with James Lane at the beginning of the Civil War. Number 15. The 9th and 10th Cavalieries, Cavalry, Cavalieries were made up of the African American soldiers who were known as the blank. Number 16, the Wyandotte Constitution was modeled after the blank. All right, go ahead and turn the page to the next section. All right, this section's called Make a List. For each question, list the number of responses required on the blanks provided. Each blank is worth one point. So number 17, list five causes of the Civil War. So right here in this each blank, list a cause of the Civil War. Go ahead and pause while you do that. Number 18, list three reasons Kansas has such a difficult start in statehood. Go ahead and pause while you write. Number 19, list three ways the Wyandotte Constitution was similar to the U.S. Constitution. Go ahead and pause. Number 20, List three purposes for the frontier forts in Kansas before, during, and after the Civil War. Go ahead and pause. Number 21, list two causes for increased tension between American Indians and the U.S. government with regards to Kansas. Go ahead and pause. On your next portion is essay. Answer each question in complete sentences. Each question is worth three points. Number 22, the first essay. Who was the frontier guard and why were they a critically important group at the start of the Civil War? And let me read it again and then you'll pause while you write. Who was the frontier guard and why were they a critically important group at the start of the Civil War? Number 23. Choose one. You can describe the events of either Quantrill's raid on Lawrence or the Battle of Mine Creek. So again, choose one. Describe the events of either Quantrill's raid on Lawrence or the Battle of Mine Creek. Double check your test and then turn it in.